Hey friends, God bless, God bless. I'm here, I'm back and ready to read Genesis chapter 32 with you. The title tonight is Jacob Becomes Israel. Amen. The last chapter we read was chapter 31 and it's when Jacob leaves Laban's house, his father-in-law's house with his wives. He leaves there. Um, his father-in-law gets upset that he leaves secretly without letting him know. God woke him up and told him it's time to leave. Um, he was being deceived. He left. His father-in-law um, followed him. Amen. And then at the end of chapter 31, um, they they be, they have peace and a feast. Um, they make a covenant with each other, which is a promise um, to not harm or each other and so forth. Um, if you want to know more about the last chapter, you can just go and, and watch um, chapter 31 of Genesis that, that we went through. But now we're going into chapter 32, which is going to talk about Jacob becoming Israel now. And this is right after he left um, with his father-in-law, the meeting with his father-in-law. This is 32, cha uh, 32 verses in this chapter, okay? And we're going to go through this and we're going to pray and we're going to ask the Lord to give us some wisdom and understanding of this chapter. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this chapter that is presented for us tonight. Father, I pray that you help give us some wisdom and understanding of your word that will be implanted in our hearts that we receive. Amen. Some revelation, Lord. Um, I pray you just guide us through this. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen. So we're going to read this and then we'll go through it. Amen. And it says, and Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of that place Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messages before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto my lord Esau. Thy servant Jacob says thus, I have soldiered with Laban and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and manservants and woman servants. And I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers, messengers returned to Jacob saying, we came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him in the flocks and the herds and the camels into two hands, and said, If Esau come to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, and the Lord which said us unto me, Return unto thy country, into thy kindred, and I will deal with thee. I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies, and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two hands. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me, and the mother with the children. And thou saidest, I, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the sand of the sea which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night and took of that which came to his hand a present for Esau, his brother. Two hundred she-goats, twenty he-goats, two hundred ewes, and twenty rams. Thirst, thirsty milk, milk, Camels in their cults, 
cults, cults, 40 kine and 10 bulls, 20 she asses and 10 fowls. And he delivered them into the hand of his servants, every drove by themselves, and said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space betwixt drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meeteth thee, and asketh thee, saying, Whose art thou, and whither goest thou, and whose are these before thee? Then thou shalt say, They be the servants Jacob's. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau. And behold, also he is behind us. And so commanded he the second and the third, and all that followed the droves, saying, On this matter shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. And say ye moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me. And afterward, I will see his face, preaventure he will accept of me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night, and took his two wives and his two women servants, and his eleven sons, and passed over the, the ford Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestling a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go. For the day breaketh, and he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name and he said wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name and he and he blessed him there and jacob called the name of that place peniel for i have seen god face to face and my life is preserved and he and as he passed over peniel the sun rose upon him and he halted upon his thigh Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the, of the sinew which was shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh and the sinew that shrank. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That is not many verses, but it has some information here. Interesting. Interesting. Now let's go through it. Okay. So we see here how it starts off. These verses describe Jacob's um, preparations for meeting Esau, right? And the news that Esau has 400 men with him. Um, we see that Jacob gets afraid. As we start to read through these verses, right? It says that Jacob went on his way and the angels of God met him. So we see after he left Laban, right? After he woke up, departed from Laban. Um, Jacob went on his way and the angels of God met him. Amen. So he had a, a, a guide. The angels came with him. They met him. They were with him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, this is God's host, right? And he called the name of that place Mahanium. Amen. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the, to the land of Seir and the country of Edom. So we see he does send messengers, uh, messengers to his brother, right? 
and his brother is in the land of Seir, of the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak unto my lord Esau. So this he's given them instructions of what to speak to his brother. Thy servant Jacob says this, I have sold you with Laban. So he has stayed with Laban, right? His uncle, um, which is also his father-in-law. And stayed there until now. We know he was there for, I think it was 20, was it 20 years? Uh, 14 for the daughters and then another six. Yeah. So he was there 20 years with him. Because he did six for the animals and seven for each, each uh, wife. So he was there for 20 years. Amen. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and manservants and woman servants. And I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in thy sight. So he's offering to give him these things to find grace, like um, grace in his brother's sight. Amen. Um, because of the time that passed, you know. And the messengers returned to Jacob. So we see that the messengers went out and now they're returning to Jacob saying, we came to thy brother Esau and also he cometh to meet thee and 400 men with him. So this is where it gets interesting because as he sends his messengers out to to uh, speak to his brother Esau um, with what he has to offer for grace, to have grace on him, uh, he, he finds out that the messenger says, said as you had sent us out your brother was also on his way towards you and he has men so if you haven't seen somebody that you deceived for 20 years brother or not it was his brother that you feared that he was going to kill you and you're trying to make amends in grace because god says go back home right he's trying to make amends with his brother find grace in his brother's sight again and you find out that as you send your messengers out um, to speak to your brother that he's already on his way with 400 men. His first reaction was to be afraid, right? Because it talks about it in the next verse. It says, then Jacob was greatly afraid. So he got intimidated. He was afraid because he hears his brother met the messengers. So they didn't even make it to where he was. He was walking towards them as they were sent out. And he becomes afraid because he has 400 men with him also. So he doesn't know what his brother is thinking, what he is attempting, or vice versa. And he was greatly afraid and distressed. So he got all stressed out. So then he just decides to divide his people, right, that was with him. The flocks and the herds and the camels into two hands. So he separates to two different hands, right? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So his brother has a large army. Army. So it says down here that it was probably um, his servants, his brother's servants, his soldiers, right? The Canaanite and the Ismaelite relation of his wives. So all these people with them. So why does he, why does Jacob send his brother this present? We see here, like I said, I believe to get, um, to find grace in his sight, to make amends. Um, down here it says it's like as a bribe, like a payoff for his sin, um, for the deception and the theft. So he's basically trying to make amends for what he has done, um, It's like a like a, a res, uh, reconciliation um, is the best way to put it biblically. Um, he wants Esau to know that he's all wealthy. Yeah, in verses 14, 15, that's not here yet. Um, I was just reading some of the stuff that it has down here as well. Amen. But I'm just going to stick to with what we're reading. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we see he's greatly afraid. Let's back get back on track. Sorry. I got into the, the bottom part where it has some facts sometimes. Amen. But we see that he's greatly afraid when he finds out about this stuff. He divides the hands of his of his his animals and everything, right? 
everything he has. And he says, if Esau come to, to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. So he's trying to, to see if his brother um, attacks one pot, one hand, because he's dividing his 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 flock, his people, everything in half. And if the one gets attacked, then he knows the other half that he has, his hand, will be able to escape. It's his way of of testing because he doesn't know what his brother's going to do. Amen. And Jacob said, oh, God. Um, oh, oh, and Jacob said, oh, God my of my father, Abraham, and God of my father, Isaac, the Lord which said is unto me, return unto thy country and thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. So we see he's he's reaching out to the Lord. He's praying to the Lord. Um, he's saying, oh, God, my father, you know, because he's in distress. He's afraid. I am not worthy of this, of the least of all the mercies. So he's not worthy of the mercy of God. That's what he's saying. And of all the truth which thou hast showed unto me, thy servant, it says. For with my staff I passed over the Jordan, and now I am become two bands. I mean, two, yeah, two bands. So because he had to divide it, he become two bands, everything separated. Amen. <clears throat> Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. So he's afraid his brothers come to kill him and his wives and his children. He's afraid and he's praying out to the Lord. He's seeking God for in refuge. Amen. Amen. And thou saidest, I will surely do thee good and make thee seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. So he's reminding God of the promise, right? Thou saidest, I will surely do thee good. You told me that you will do me good and make my seed like his family, right? As the sand of the sea. It cannot be numbered for multitude because this is the promise that was been placed on the family. Amen. And he lodged there that same night. So after praying, he stayed there that night. And he took of what? Of that which came to his hand. A present for Esau, his brother. Okay. So then he said he's going to send his brother a present now. This is where it gets interesting. So these are all the things that he's going to give his brother now. 200 she goats. 20 he goats, 2,000 ewes, and 20 rams, 30 milch camels with their colts, 40 kine, and 10 bulls, 20 she asses, and 10 fowls. And he delivered them into the hand of his servant. Every drove by themselves and said unto his servants, Pass over before me. So go before me and put a space between the grove and the grove. So it's going to be spaced out, right? And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau, my brother, meeteth thee. So you guys that are going first. When my brother meets you and axes you, right? Saying, Who art you? Who art thou, right? And where, where did you come from? Where did thou... Where, Whither goest thou, and whose are these before thee? So when you meet my brother and he asks you these questions, who are you, where where are you going, and who do these belong to, right? Then thou shalt say, they be thy servant Jacob. Tell them that it's from me, your servant Jacob. It is a present sent unto my Lord Esau, and behold, also he is behind us. To let him know that this is a gift from your brother Jacob, right? And that he is behind us. He's on his way. And, to com and so commanded he the second and the third and all that followed the drove, saying, on, the, on this matter shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. So he's telling them, if you bump into Esau, this is what you're going to speak. This is what you're going to tell him. And say ye moreover, behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. Right? For he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me. 
So he's trying to make him happy before he meets him. Like he's trying to bring peace in the situation that he's in. He's trying. Um, and afterward, I will see his face. So he wants to see his face after he gives the gift. Pre-adventure, he will accept of me to see if he's going to accept them. Amen. So went the present over before him. So he sends the present and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives. So Jacob gets up, takes his two wives, his two women servants, and his 11 sons. Okay, he gets up and passes over the Ford Jebok. So he, he gets up and he goes over there, right? And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent them over that he had. So he sends them over this brook. Amen. Wow. Wow. So he sends them away. So he's alone, having done everything he could to secure his own safety that God comes to him. God has arranged the circumstances so that he could get Jacob alone at the moment when he felt completely helpless. That's when God had come to him. Amen. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestling a man with him until the breaking of dawn. So after all this, sending his wives, his his eleven sons, his women servants, man servants over to the over the brook, he becomes alone. And when he's alone, that's when God meets him to speak to him, to 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 um to 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 be with him, to speak to him, to secure him in his safety, to show him, Amen. But it says here, right, that when he saw, and when he saw. Oh, wait, did I read that part? When him until the breaking of dawn. Okay, Jacob was left alone. And it says, in there, he wrestled a man. He was alone. It says, he wrestled, wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. So he wrestled all night long with this man. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. So he wrestled all night until his joint, his, his hip bone, his thigh bone came out of place. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. So he continued wrestling with him all night and his, his thigh came out. Amen. <clears throat> Why does the man touch Jacob's thigh? Because the thigh is the largest and strongest muscle connection of the body he is deliberately crippling Jacob at the point of his greatest strength wow amen amen wow that's interesting and okay so and he said let me go for the day breaketh, and he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Jacob, even, even with his, his, his uh, thigh out of place, out of joint, he's wrestling, and he would not let go. And he says, until you bless me. And then he says to him, what is your name? What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Amen. So Jacob wrestled all night and would not let go because he was wrestling for his blessing. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, The name shall be called no more Jacob. Amen. But Israel, for as a prince has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. Amen. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob but Israel. For as a prince, as a prince has thou power, as a prince has power with God and with men and has prevailed. Amen. 
And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. So now Jacob's asking him what his name is. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? Like, why are you asking my name? And he blessed him there. That he gets blessed. And Jacob called the name of that place Peniel. For I have seen God. See, I have seen God face to face. And my life is preserved. His life is preserved. He's secure. Amen. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him. And he halted upon his thigh. Therefore, the children of Israel eat not of the shenu, which shrink, which is upon the hollow of the thigh. Unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the shenu that shrink. I believe, I didn't look it up, but I believe the shenu is a part of the muscle tissue. Um, amen. I remember hearing about that before, but I'm not positive. Um, but the new name that Jacob receives is Israel here, right? Meaning either God strives or he who strives with God. He who strives with God. Um, if the later interpretation is the one intended by the wrestler who blesses Jacob, then the name fits well with Jacob's character as one who throughout his life struggles with God. The name given to this place, Peniel, means the face of God. Isn't that interesting? Fa Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's very spiritual. It's Jacob alone fighting a man. It's God face to face. He's fighting the Lord. He's he prevails. He doesn't stop. He he fights for his blessing. Amen. Um, and then he real he realizes, and he asks him who he is. And then he says, "Why are you asking me? Why you tonight are gonna be Israel, no longer Jacob." Amen. And I like how he says, uh, "And Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face." Amen. And my life is preserved. He felt secure. Amen. And that is, that's what we get for this chapter. Amen. <clears throat> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jacob becomes Israel. No longer Jacob. Amen. And that is what we're up to. The next chapter is going to be about uh, Jacob meets Esau. Amen. But we see here in this chapter that he was trying to make amends with his brother, sending sin in a present. He uh, he gets afraid finding out about his brother um, coming towards him at the same time as he sends messengers out. He becomes afraid, takes uh, wakes up at night, you know, sends his wife and his sons over the brook. He's trying to preserve everything, everything to be in safeguards. Amen. And we find him alone fighting with God. Amen. Wrestling with God. Amen. And um, until he gets his blessing. Until he, he blesses him. And he becomes Israel. The prince thou power with God and with men has prevailed. Amen. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. <laughs> Ay, this is awesome God's face to face he called that place Peniel for I have seen God face to face hallelujah I'm gonna underline that it's important I'm gonna do some more research on this this is very interesting but his amen My life is preserved. Amen. I can't. I like. I already want to read the next chapter, guys. Um, it's pretty awesome. But I believe Sinu, Sinu is, is a part of, um, um, 
what do you call it? Tissue, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. Amen. Because he was basically limping. He, he, his whole hip came out of place. He prevailed. He would not stop. Amen. Glory be to God. Sometimes in our lives, we have to be persistent for our blessing. Amen. Not literally fighting with God the way it speaks here, like how Jacob, you know, wrestled with God, but to, per but in a spiritual meaning of pursuing after the thing that of God, pursuing the blessing, pursuing safety in God, in his refuge. Amen. Being alone, being in touch, having the connection. He's, he was pursuing, pursuing the Lord. We saw that he was praying to the Lord. He was afraid and he was seeking the Lord. He was pursuing. He wrestled with God. Amen. He wrestled with God himself. It says God face to face. And I seen God face to face. And it says that he prevailed because he would not stop. And then God gives him that name. Israel. Amen. And it says that his life was preserved. Because he fought for his blessing. And sometimes we will have to fight for our blessings. Right? We have to come and understand that nothing's going to come easy. Um. But with God, everything is secure and preserved, and and we will be blessed. But take refuge in God. Amen. Seek Him, even when you don't see that it, you're going to come out of it. Even if you are afraid, you seek the Lord in it. You seek the Lord until the blessing comes, until you're secure, until your fear leaves. Amen. Until you know. That you've got the blessing of the Lord. And that you have nothing to fear. Amen. Glory be to God. He was determined. And it takes determination. Um, to, to be persistent in your prayers. Being persistent in the things that. That. That, um, that you're seeking. Like the blessings of the Lord. Sometimes we need to really seek the Lord. In his refuge. Amen. The Lord likes to see. See faith. The Lord likes to see persistence. Amen. How much are you willing to seek me through this? And are you going to hold on to that security knowing and not fearing that I'm with you? I told you I was going to protect you. Amen. And he's seeing God face to face. And my life is preserved. Amen. Amen. Be secured in knowing that the Lord has you. Amen. All right, guys. So I'm going to end it with that. Um, God bless you. This was a very good chapter. Leave a comment on what you think about this. Um, um, I've read Genesis once before this or maybe twice. Um, I haven't read Genesis through um, for quite a while. I'll read here and there. So this story, I actually, um, I heard about it a, couple, a few times. I read about it. Um, but I never actually study studied it, which I would like to study a little bit more into it in depth. Amen. But I'm reading this as, you know, as we read through this Genesis book together, but this chapter is very mind blowing. It's very interesting to me. Um, <clears throat> so I might meditate on this. I suggest you meditate as well and see if you get any more from this. Amen. But I definitely see a lot in this, um, these verses. Amen. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Because when we are not with the, you know, um, how can I put it? Our name is going to change. Amen. Our name is going to change. But it just makes me think like, randomly thought random thought amen like before the lord i'm not saying jacob before the lord before he met the lord no he already you know he knew the lord but i'm saying like before i became um i i always believed in god as well but because before i actually started walking in the ways of the lord and actually serving and 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 and, and being a christian amen walking this the way of the lord um 
and I believe doing his will. Amen. They would call me a different name before. And now they and now when I'm called that name, I feel uncomfortable. And I like to be called my regular name now, which I didn't like to be called before. It's because when at birth my mother gave me a certain name and that is the name that I prefer to be called now because that is really who I am. I'm not that nickname that they gave me when I used to be in the world and be doing the things of the world. So some people still call me Vicky, but I prefer Victoria now because that is the name that God had given me in the beginning. Amen. But I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but I can relate to the story a lot. Amen. But I know it sounds a little weird, but that's what I'm getting from this. Um, anyways, I'm going to end it with that. Sorry, guys. Um, but yes, what a blessed blessing to read this for our ears to hear this. Amen. So um, that's it. Let's give the Lord thanks. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you, Lord, for all the edification and for all the stuff that that you are showing us through this chapter, Lord. I pray you continue to give us the wisdom and understanding, deep revelation of this word, Lord. We give you all the glory and thanks, Father. I pray that I spoke clearly and um, and they understood exactly what I spoke because I know I speak fast sometimes. But I give you all the glory and thanks, Lord, because it's you who guided me through this reading and us through this reading. Bless your mighty name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to end this video. Um, Hit the like button if you like this video. Um, please share the gospel um, of, of God. Amen. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any content that I upload. Amen. And um, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Amen. Leave a comment. Um, I have I have some people follow me, but not many of you guys comment um, what you think. Amen. And I like to have um, communication. Amen. So let me guys, let me know what you think. And God bless you. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord bless you always. And 